Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. We are live tonight for a fantastic free stamping class. Let me bring you guys up on my iPad while everybody is popping in. I see, oh, Connie Meek, you're the first one that popped in on my screen. Welcome. Yay, Jeanette Reel is next. All right, here we go. We've got Jean Shoot, Leanne White. Holy cow, everybody's popping in. I got my iPad set up without a problem. <laughs> Knock on some wood. <laughs> Hi, Kay Nestor, happy to see you. And Anne is here. Oh my goodness. So, I don't know where you guys are located. Well, some of you I do, right? But it is freezing cold here in Menasha, Wisconsin. Hi, Cindy Ellers. So, yeah, it's really cold here. I got Debbie Spicer. I was just looking through my comments on my laptop. Um, and who said, oh, Debbie Lindauer, you're so funny. I literally laughed out loud. <laughs> Debbie said, you must be ahead of schedule for your trip. Good for you. <laughs> no. Uh, that would be awesome. But you guys know me pretty well, right? So the other day, Steve, um, I, I was pretty, I, I was pretty stressed. Like I'm like, oh my good lord, I don't know how I'm gonna get all this done before I have to leave and da da da. And um, you know, I've just made little comments here and there. Nothing like I don't get all that dramatic with him because he doesn't care. <laughs> Let's be real. So. Um, he comes in my office. So one thing that I never tell you guys that Steve does, which is really sweet, is he comes in my office um, usually at least once a day and he comes up behind me and he gives me a neck and shoulder massage, which is just like exactly what you need when you've been sitting in a chair for hours on end, right? So um, somebody said they thought I was not live tonight. No, I promised I would be live tonight. Well, first I said I was going to be gone, but then I was confused. I was jumping the gun. So I said I'd be live tonight, but I won't be live next Sunday night because we're, um, yeah, it's just, it, it won't work. <laughs> but anyways, so Steve comes in and he's like massaging my shoulders. And when he does that, I like drop everything and just sit there like, oh, uh, right? And he goes... <clears throat> He was sick last week, so he was sick. I've been sick on and off. I was all better, and then I started feeling crummy again, and so I've been kind of, you know, trying to take good care of myself and get rest when I felt I needed rest and so on and so forth, but anyways, he comes in my office. He's massaging my shoulders, and he says, so since I've been sick, I haven't been able to get as much done as I needed to get done. And I haven't really thought about how we're going to pack to be gone for a month. And he goes, um, we could leave on Tuesday instead of Monday. <laughs> and I was like, what? Yeah, so we're not leaving until Tuesday. So today, tonight, probably very late tonight when I get everything done after this live, because you know, this part is the funnest part and the easiest part. Coming on here, sharing cards with you guys. Um, all the work comes af well before and after that, right? I have to upload, I have to download my video to my computer. I have to upload it to YouTube. I have to put in all the coding and all the links and I have to get a blog post ready and I have to take photos of all of the projects. And then I have to edit the photos and I have to put my watermarks on them and then I have to bring them into my blog and then I have to type up some stuff and put the dimensions in and then get a shopping list and get all that coding and ugh. <laughs> it's not the really fun part. This is the fun part. So anyways, I will be up late tonight, but when I'm done tonight, the only thing I'm going to be doing in my office tomorrow is packing stuff for my trip because I will be working while I'm gone. I just will not be live next Sunday. I'm going to take this week as we're traveling because we're taking the slow boat to Florida. And um, this next weekend, we're going to be spending that with my cousin and her husband. And um, then they're going to leave, I think, on Tuesday. And then, um, then we'll be on our own. In Sarasota so I decided that I would take next Sunday off so yay 
Yes, and um, who just asked me if I was on YouTube? Somebody just said, are you on YouTube now? Um, I'm, I always upload my videos to YouTube, um, but I do my lives here on Facebook. I do bingo once a month live on YouTube. And then if you're a member of the Stamp Happy Academy, I do the Stamp Happy Live class once a month um, on YouTube too, but that's a, that's a special membership. So anyways, thanks for asking, but I, I don't do my lives on YouTube. I have great, I have a great following here on Facebook and I am just going to hang on to that as long as I can because I love you guys and I know um, sometimes change is hard, right? It's hard for me. <laughs> when I go do a YouTube live, I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> but I get through it, right? We all, we all get through it. So yeah. Anyways, yeah, I see lots of you guys saying um, the Packers lost. Yeah, they did. And somebody just said something's really bad. I don't know. I missed that. Freezing up like last week. Oh, Linda, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm watching myself on my iPad, and I'm not freezing up at all. So your streaming on your Internet must not be in good shape tonight. Um, but I do upload this to YouTube, and... Um, you know, you can you can definitely watch it on there. It's not as fun to watch it, right, when it's not um, live. Hi, Sarah. So uh, <laughs> I almost said hi, Sarasota. Hi, Sarah Simon. I know you love Sarasota. I'm really looking forward to, to it too. And my cousins used to live there. My cousin and her husband, they used to live there, so they really know the lay of the land. And um, we rented their condo, so it'll be really cool. Um, somebody just said they're breaking up on the iPad, but not another device. So thank you for sharing that. Um, anyways, yeah, so our Packers lost yesterday. It was kind of a, a really like moment because I am going to admit that I was super tired yesterday. And so I fell asleep <laughs> before the game even came on. <laughs> when I woke up, the Packers were ahead and... Um, yeah, then all of a sudden I'm looking and 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 the other team um, got a field goal and I was kind of like, oh, darn. And then they said game over and I'm like, there's no time left. What just happened? It was like, it's like everybody got blindsided and they lost. So that was kind of sad, right? As a Packer fan, I really wanted to see them um, succeed, of course. And then I don't know who won or lost today, but um, I was watching a little bit of those football games. I was Haley and Val came over. Molly was here all weekend. Haley and Val and um, Jared came over. And we had lunch. Steve made Philly cheesesteak. So good. Homemade. And um, we had that. Well, Haley had grilled cheese. <laughs> she won't eat that. <laughs> but um, so we had lunch together. And then they stayed for quite a while. And um, I'm going to miss these babies, you know that. I'm going to miss them so much. But we have FaceTime, and um, Val and Jared are coming down February 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th. So that's going to be exciting. Haley can't travel because she's due March 8th. And now the doctor is, they're kind of talking about this baby is bigger than the last one, and they might um, make that baby come a little bit earlier. I'm like, no, no, it can't come earlier. I'm in Florida. Don't they understand? Like, I will kill you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't want the baby to come early. I want the baby to come when the baby's supposed to come when I'm back. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm sure that they'll make the best decision for the baby and the mom. And my whatever I want really doesn't matter, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I was going to give you a John update. I even went downstairs to talk to Steve to see if he had anything to tell me about John, but he wasn't even in the house. So I got no John update. I have nothing on John. I can see that his backlight is on, which usually means he's out. So I'm not sure if he's home. I haven't seen him. I have been like in my little cocoon right here. And John's house is over there. And I don't have any windows to see what's going on at John's house. So... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happening with John. We haven't had any more hoar frost. <laughs> Seems like such a naughty word. <laughs> I went up to visit my mom Friday, and I went and grabbed Val from daycare. I took Val, and me and her went to see my mom. Steve was going to go with me, 
but um, he had been sick, so he decided not to. And he's fine, but um, yeah, so I went and we went out for fish. And who wants the baby on their birthday? Sandra, oh, I know, right? Yeah, so Molly's birthday is, I think, the 7th of March, and she wants the baby born on her birthday, too. So we'll have to see what happens there. Um, we went out for Friday Night Fish, and Val was just a perfect little angel. She was playing the little um, video game thing, but I don't put any money in it. We just bonk on the buttons, and then I act like things are happening, and we touch the screen, and nothing's happening, and so it's kind of funny. But she's like, oh, and then she does it, and yeah. And um, yes, Connie wants to know if I'll be doing lives from Florida. Yes, absolutely. Just not next weekend. I will be live um, every Sunday until we come back home. Because while Steve is going there as a retired guy to golf and go to the gym, that's what he likes to do, I am working. So if you guys have any tips, like what would you, what is your must have to take with you if you were going to leave for a month and you needed to stamp? Like what would be the thing? What would be the thing that you couldn't live without? Like I have a die cutting machine. I have my paper cutters. I haven't packed a thing yet. Like nothing. I just started doing my laundry today and I haven't done that for two weeks. So I have been trying to get kits out of here. It's been insane trying to get kits out of here. We even got my February kit going so that I will have a kit in February. Thank goodness. We're going to be using the um, Grassy Grove bundle. Let me see if I can find that. So um, I will probably be working on all the marketing for that when it's on page 47 in the new mini catalog. I'll probably be working on the marketing for that while we're driving to Florida because Steve usually does most of the driving. I don't mind driving, but he's like kind of you know, he likes to be the boss or whatever. And I just let him have that little bit. He knows he's really not the boss any other time. So I let him have that. <laughs> but this is the Grassy Grove. And oh my goodness, I absolutely love these. So I've got some fantastic cards um, in my card kit. This will be my monthly kit that I do alone. And then Barb, Dina, and I... Hmm, I can't remember for sure. I've got it in my notes someplace, but I think we're going to use the Hello Beautiful bundle, this one right here, for our collaborative class that we do together. So we'll we'll see. I, I could be totally wrong. You know I have no memory, right? Yeah. So I've got that all together. I wanted to let you guys know I have, two. I think, two packets left of bingo. Um, we had bingo on the 19th. And um, Bingo comes with um, the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper, as well as the Brass Butterflies, the Self-Adhesive Hexagons, all the cardstock cut for five cards. You get a PDF file with a link to the video so you can watch and make your cards when you get them. We used the For the Record stamp set, the Happy Hedgehogs bundle, and the Amazing Silhouettes. And let's see, you guys, this is my, this is my basket of cards that I make for videos. <laughs> it's insane, isn't it? This was one of the cards. This was one of the cards, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. But the spinner card, yeah. Was it one of the cards? I think it was. <laughs> oh my good Lord, I can't even remember. Um, That was not... Let me see if I can find the other ones real quick here. We've got a slimline class. I'm going to show that to you, or I should say the packet, in just a second. Well, I don't know where my bingo cards went, you guys, but they're really fun. Oh, here's one. Hang on. Here's one of the bingo cards. Look at this one. The hedgehogs. Aren't they cute? Um, this was another one. Yep. Maybe that wasn't. I... Yeah, this was. Yeah, this is one of the cards. It's a spinner card. So yeah, fun, right? Is that one of them? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking while I keep sounding so stupid. <laughs> you guys ever do that? We're like, oh, I don't know. But anyways, we have some really cool cards. So I've got a couple of these packets left. If anybody wants them, you can find them in the um, online classes on my blog, www.astampabub.com. You need to order them tonight so that I can 
get them out to you. And I'm just selling the packets. I'm not, if you need the stamp sets or the bundles, you can order those in my online store, but I can't get that order in and then send it to you. So the other thing I have is Slim Line Sayings. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is an awesome class, the whole um, Slim Line Bundle. Let me, let me find that quick. Here it is right here. It's on page 52 in the mini catalog. Slimline cards are so fun and they're just a little bit different. So this is the Slimline Bundle and I have a whole online class with that. Now this is the one that I do with Dina and Barb. We've got all the pre-cut card stock in here. Um, you also get <clears throat> the polished dots and a pack of the slim line envelopes. So that's really cool. And everything is cut for you. You do need the symbols of, what's that paper called? Symbols of Fortune designer series paper. And of course the slim line bundle. But if you, I have a few of these left too. This is the slim line sayings class. So let me put this back in the envelope so I don't mess things up. Um, I have amazing, people who help me. Like I surround myself with amazing people. And um, Kathy Miller is one of my team members and she also is my helper. And she was here a lot this last week and we got all these kits, all the catalog kickoff packets out in the mail, um, all the things. And she just did an amazing job for me and I don't know what I would do without her. I would not be going to Florida if it wasn't for her. I think I would have to stay here and go later. <laughs> so yay okay um yeah I'm watching to see what you guys would pack because I'm like oh my god I don't even know I don't even like I know the things that I need like I need, I need my take your pick tool and a bottle of glue and I like my embellishments and should I take all my stamp and blend markers with me because I really like those and what ink pads am I going to need and so it should be a very creative interesting month in the month of February. You guys will have to tune in to see how I do. <laughs> right? Okay. Um, I think, oh, I wanted to let you know, please give me a like. Click on that like button. That really helps me out in the Facebook analytics. If you're watching later after I upload this to YouTube, ring that bell. That'll help you get notifications when I have a new video posted on YouTube. And um, also make sure you share this video. You can share it now on Facebook. There's a share someplace. Oh, look at all the, look at all the thumbs up coming in. Um, you can share it right now on Facebook. You can share it later if you're watching on YouTube. I really do appreciate that. I always have prizes. I don't know how I'm going to do that from Florida either. We'll have to, I'll work it out, right? I'll have to figure it out. What's going on in Florida for a month? Um, we rented a condo, so we're going to Florida for the month. Steve is going to be playing retired Steve, and Kelly's going to be working. <laughs> That's what's going to happen in Florida. And I will also be in the sun, so there's that. <laughs> um, so there's three ways to win a prize. If you are new here tonight, please make sure you leave a comment. It doesn't really matter what you say. Oh, I see somebody just asked about ink spots. I do have ink spots, so I think that's a really good idea. Um, for commenting on my last Facebook Live, I have a package of these square vellum doilies. These are really fun to embellish your cards or scrapbook pages with. For commenting last time, I have Linda Sturm of Spokane Valley, Washington. These are going to be on their way to you. So congratulations. Barbara Beck asked, where in Florida? Sarasota. We are going to be in Sarasota. Next up, for sharing my video last time, whoops, let's turn this around so you can see it. I've got this fantastic pack of Baker's Twine Essential Pack. You get five different colors of Baker's Twine in here. These are really nice. For sharing my video last time, my winner is Denise Ray of Dexter, Missouri. Congratulations. I love, love, love doing the giveaway. And now this is really funny because when I did my drawing, next up we have a punch party stamp set. And this is for placing an order between last week and tonight. And um, it was funny because the name that I drew to win on this is also from Dexter, Missouri. Isn't that weird? 
and it is Kimberly Christian. So congratulations, Kimberly. This is going to be on its way to you. I'm going to get these all packaged up and mailed. Let me put these over here by the rest of my mail. Oh, you guys want to see my crazy pants? Are you ready? How's that for crazy? Steve said, wow, you're looking pretty crazy today. Do you like my little, oh, look, I got some kind of crud on my, my little slippers. Yeah, this is how I roll. <laughs> yeah, this is my, these are my crazy pants. Yep, love them. I think they're LuLaRoe, but they don't have any holes in them, so. <laughs> no offense to any LuLaRoe people, but um, they did have a problem with some holes. Uh, I shouldn't have said that. Anyways, we'll just move on. They're super soft, and I really do love them. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to, oh, oh, does anything, do you guys notice anything different behind me? Did anybody notice a change behind me? Huh. I'm going to wait and see if anybody answers. Yeah, congratulations to all the winners. Hi, Michelle Davis. I'm happy to see you. So, um... Do you see that little tiny TV right there? Remember I had a giant TV there, which I really didn't like. It was too big and I didn't need a big TV like that, but it's the one that Steve put in here. It quit, it just quit. Like it had sound, but no picture. So I drug that in from a bedroom and I really like that one. So I don't want a giant TV up there. I mean, I'm right here. I don't need a giant TV, right? Yeah, okay, I think. I think what we're going to do, I have two cards to share with you tonight. It was almost one, but I got it together. Like, I got my mm -mm together, and now we're going to have two. So the first card I'm going to share with you is Awesome Otters. Who, who doesn't love the Awesome Otters? I just absolutely love them. Oh, let's see. What does that say? What is the name of the person that lives in Dexter, Missouri? I've got two. Two people. Hang on. I've got Linda. Nope. Denise. Denise Ray is in Dexter, Missouri. And Kimberly Christian. Yay. So that's kind of fun, right? And that's very unusual. Oh, Denise, it's you. <laughs> you won a prize. Yay. Yay, Denise. That's funny. I didn't realize it was you that asked that question. These go by really fast. My messages do. So anyways, we're going to use the awesome otters tonight for a really cool card. I'm going to be combining it with the layering diorama dies. These are very fun. Where did those dies go? How come they're not in here? Oh, they're in here. I'm like, where did the dies go that I'm going to use? There we go. Yeah. These are really cool and you can do some really neat stuff with these. So I've got that. I'm also going to be using the Subtles Designer Series Paper Pack as well as Marvelous. Yeah, this is such a fun pack of paper. So I'm excited about that. Okay, I've got all my things out here. Oh, do we have a piercing mat? Nope, that one's dirty. Oh, here comes one. Got to make sure that I have a piercing mat. Hang on. My tape is coming off. There we go. Okay, we're going to turn the camera around. Ooh, I'm getting warm. <laughs> I'm going to take my glasses off and put my real glasses on. I can't read the screen with these on, but I can with those. It's, a, it's just a whole thing. <laughs> Very cold, Linda says, in Rochester. And uh, somebody just said they're addicted to the marvelous paper. Yeah. I totally get it. Here we go, you guys. Hang tight. Let me get you set up here so everything is straight. And I don't like it when my camera's crooked. So we try to make it straight. There we go. Okay. I think we're in the screen. I can see you. Now I can read your messages better, too. Um, oh, hang on. There's 5 million messages. It quit scrolling on me. Okay. Here we go, awesome otters. So first thing I'm gonna do is take out my cardstock layers. We've got all of these. Oh, and don't let me forget, I have some otter cards to share with you that are swap cards. And I tell you guys that, and then I forget to show them to you. This is Highland Heather. This is eight and a half by five and a half. We're just gonna burnish that edge good. 
And then I've got, of course, my envelope. You guys know that I'm obsessed with the decorated envelopes. And uh, just decorate your envelopes. We've got all this product. Make a beautiful presentation with it. This is what we do. We make things pretty. Don't send a naked envelope. And I try really hard not to, but I do have to admit that sometimes when I have thank you cards going out of here, I have so many thank you cards that sometimes it's impossible for me to get them all decorated. And so for that, I apologize. But believe me, if I could, I would. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that just delicious? Mm, I love it, love it, love it. Where'd my thing go? Where? Oh, here it is. My Simply Marvelous. Now, this paper comes in a six by six pack. Okay, you get, mm, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six of each sheet. And one side looks really pretty like marble. And the other side looks like kind of like water, I guess, or paint, or I just, I don't know, but it's just delicious. Frosting, this reminds me of frosting, probably because it's pink. But this paper is beautiful. You get this free with your $50 order. So if you order $100, you can take two of these. There's no limit to how many you can get. That is available until the end of February during our celebration promotion. Which brings me to my next point. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like the catalogs, please feel free to pop me an email, kelly at stampabove.com, not www, but kelly at stampabove.com with your name and address, and I would be happy to mail you catalogs because who doesn't want to have a catalog in their hand? Like, I love to sit down and just page through my catalog. Now, this is a three-quarter inch piece of the designer paper, and it was actually just a scrap left over from cutting something else. So I'm going to cut that, and I'm going to put this inside my card. And again, just a way to decorate up that inside without a lot of fuss. It doesn't take you much time. And let's be real. What do we do with all those scraps anyways, right? Oh, I can't remember. Did I have my nails done last week? I think I did. Yeah, my Valentine nails. I went and got my toes done because, well, we're going to Florida and I will be wearing sandals and my toes were like kind of ugly and I got them painted this color. So that'll look nice, right? Fun. Yeah, I, I think I did. I talked to you. My nail lady did not yell at me this time. <laughs> Gosh, it was so funny. Oh, you know what I forgot to get? I forgot to get, hang on, I have to get some ribbon. And I think I'm going to use just this white ribbon. I think that's what I'll use. Okay. So we've got three pieces here. Now this is the Settles Designer Series paper. And this paper is really nice because you get every single color in the Settles color family. So, and it's got a pattern on one side and a different pattern on the other side. So this is just a really nice pack of paper to have on hand to, it's good for scrapbooking or stamping. We've got a Highland Heather piece here. And this piece is three and a half by four and a half. You're gonna find all the dimensions for the projects that we make on my blog later tonight. Like I said, I got to do a bunch of stuff and then I'll have them on there. <laughs> Just a bunch of stuff, right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab these, the layering diorama dies. And I've got the, um, so one, two, this is three and four as far as size goes. And I am going to take this piece and I'm going to die cut it right on here. And then... Hang on, I'm looking at my little sample here. My friend Lori made this card to start with, so I'm kind of checking it out and making sure I'm doing this right. I'm gonna take the next smaller one and die cut it on here, and we're not gonna die cut this one. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my die cutting machine in here. Here we go. So we're gonna die cut this. And 
And we're going to die cut this. I'm going to put this one. You need to make sure that you keep them right in the middle. I didn't really pay close attention to that one, but I should have. hungry. I haven't eaten since lunch. I really should have <laughs> thought about that a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to um, do a little bit of stamping here with our little otter guy. Oh, I was going to stamp. Oh, darn it. Okay, hang on. I forgot to do something. It's okay as long as I don't mess it up. If I mess it up, we get to start over. I'm just gonna stamp this, you are utterly awesome. Yay! <laughs> okay, I didn't mess it up. Uh, big bonus. Okay, and then we're gonna take our Memento ink and we're gonna stamp our little otter and we're gonna put our otter right in the middle of this layer. And this one is four and three eighths by three and three eighths. Look at how cute that little otter is. And like I said, this is my friend Lori made this card and she sent it to me in a swap and I just absolutely loved it. Okay, so first thing first, we're gonna put this on the front of our card and I'm just gonna kinda do a little bit of a dry fit right now. So let's open that back up so it lays down. And then we're gonna take this one and we're gonna put this in here, but we need to put some dimensionals between it. So let me grab those. This is actually gonna look like you're looking through, like a, I don't know, a hole and the otter is in a pond. It's kind of pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna do this, and this, this, and this. Okay, so we're gonna put that right on here. Grab your take your pick tool. Who has this tool? Who uses it as much as I do as far as it's always in my arsenal of very important supplies? Right here. This is a definite right by my fingertips that I always have to have handy. I love my take your pick tool. I use it to get mini glue dots. I use it to take the backing off of my dimensionals. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure that I cover this up. Now this layer, the, the simply marvelous paper, is a little bit smaller than um, the front layer that we're gonna put on here. So we're gonna do this one also on dimensionals. I hope that made sense. I think you guys will understand as soon as I get this put together. Let's use those edges. So as I was trying to figure out, you know, what am I taking to Florida? Um, I gotta remember that Stampin' Up! ships to Florida just like they do to Wisconsin. So if I forget something, I can order it. You know, of course I don't wanna be ordering a bunch of duplicate stuff unless it's consumable stuff and then it wouldn't be too bad. But so I wanna be careful about that. No you need to be all crazy and wasteful. <gasps> Look at this. Do you see the dimension there? How it's like, ooh, it's, I, I just think this was a really cool card. And I'm just, I fell in love with it. Now this is gonna go on here and we're doing tone on tone, which is always interesting to me. I don't know who thought of tone on tone, but I like it and it probably would have never been me. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, and then I'm gonna tie a bow. This is the crinkled white seam binding. Your pokey side doesn't stay in very well, really. Well, that's too bad. I've never had trouble with mine. And um, I'll show you what she means here, is that this um, goes in and then you twist it and it, Mine stays in there really good. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I've never had any trouble with mine. Okay, well that just turned out really crappy. Hang on, 
I gotta hold on to this. There we go. Hold on to your loops while you're doing this because then your bow will stay nice. That looks good. Hang on, my crown is falling. <laughs> Nobody wants a falling crown, right? Uh, okay. And then, where's my mini glue dots? Right here, my little basket of goodness. And then I like to use my take your pick tool for glue dots too. And I'm just gonna kind of curl this one up into a log. And I'm gonna put it right up here. Whoops, <laughs> make it stick to your cardstock right up here. And I'm gonna put my bow right on there. Now, something fun. I've also got these silver and clear epoxy essentials. So here's the clear ones. And then we have silver ones. And this is, um, you get one sheet of each. This is more than one pack. But these little teardrop ones, oh, this is perfect. Hang on. Um, I thought I put, oh, here's my marker. I've got the dark Highland Heather marker. And I am going to color three of these little droplets. And then we're gonna put those on our card. And of course you can color these any color you want with our stamp and blend markers. And then I'm just gonna add these over three of the little splash droplet thingers. I don't know what to call them. <laughs> And maybe one more right there. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at how cool those are, right? Okay, where's our envelope? Right here. So here is our awesome otters card. Isn't that cute? And then I will show you the one that Lori sent me. She used the um, Just Jade and the In Color. I think this is the In Color. Oh no, this is um, In Symmetry the in symmetry paper. So very cool. But isn't that neat? I love this diorama. Let me put these away so I don't lose them. The layering diorama dies. They are so fun. And you can do just a whole bunch of things with them. Now we have these too that I didn't do anything with. And I think what I will do is I will take these and I will put them in my packet so that I can use them on something else. I don't wanna just throw them away, right? So there we go. What do you guys think of that one? Pretty cute, huh? All right, I'm gonna get this put away because next we're going to do the accordion card. And hold on to your hats. I sat down and figured this card out I'm gonna show you the original, <clears throat> excuse me, and then I will show you, well, I'll show you how to make the one that I made. Oh, and don't forget to show the other otter cards, right, you guys? Here we go. Look at how cute this one is. Isn't that just adorable? Ready? Another inside decorator right? This, these are swap cards that I got. Look at how cute that is. I love this. Great card for a boy or a man. Look at this one. This is a belly band and look at how cute that is, right? And it is a gift card holder. Let me see if I can find. I usually have a pizza card. Oops, something just fell. Here we go. Hotel card, how about that? Gift card holder, isn't that cute? Yeah, let me get that out of there. And put this back because otherwise it'll get lost and I'll never find it again. Oh, and they use the crinkled seam binding that I use too, right here. I love that ribbon. You can color it any color you need too. There we go. Here comes another one. Now this uses that die with the holes in it. We have um, it comes with the circles cut out, the stitch circles, and then there's rectangles also in that set of dies. Love those, right? How cute is that? 
And then here is one more. And of course they use that simply marvelous paper on this card, this card, and this card. Isn't that cute? No decoration on the inside, but it is so super cute. This is that new striped embossing folder. There's two. There's splotches of paint and then the stripes. They're both the um, smaller embossing powders. I mean, embossing folders. Like, what is she talking about? Yeah, so there's our otter cards. That was the other thing I was trying to think of is I need to take some cards with me because I, I get a lot of inspiration from those cards. But like, how many cards can I take with me? We don't have like um, a moving van. We've just got an explorer, <laughs> which is big and roomy, but it's not kitchen sink roomy, right? Okay, let me put my dimensions on the back here so when I get ready to type that up, I'll be able to do that. All right, are you guys ready for this crazy card? I know you're going to love it. I hope I don't lose some of you. But the whole concept of it is really quite easy. So, do you remember this? Yeah, this was from Marilyn Dakins. Yes, I said that right. Marilyn Dakins. And this was the Christmas card that she sent me. And when you open it up, it does that. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And we all went, oh my gosh, look at how amazing this card is. Because it is really amazing, right? Look at that. <laughs> and Marilyn put a little note on the back here. And um, oh my gosh, yeah. So you guys are all like, show us how to make that, please, please, please. And I'm like, oh, yes, we're going to have to figure this out. So try as hard as I could. I really didn't find good directions for this um, any place. So I just took the one that I had, and I wanted to make a normal size card. This is a big card, which is absolutely gorgeous. But I wanted to um, have just like a regular size card. Okay, so that's what I went after. So... We are going to be using the Sunshine and Rainbows Des Designer Series paper. Is this place order? Oh, and I have a few cards with this particular bundle too, so don't let me forget to show them to you. I tried to find more, but I don't know what happened to them. So if you sent me a swap card using this bundle and I don't show it to you tonight, please don't be, don't feel bad because. Like, I can't find them. They're, they're, in, they're in a bag someplace, and I just kind of ran out of time, and, you know, life gets crazy. So, here's what I brought in. Who has a playful alphabet set? This is, like, one of my funnest things for personalizing cards or scrapbooking, right? It's a great, great scrapbook um, product. And then I've got my rainbow paper. Okay, so I got myself. Oh, and by the way, when you place an order with me in the month of January, I have a PDF file with nine to 10 different card ideas using this bundle that I send to you as a gift. So it's a picture, it's got all the ingredients, the dimensions, brief instructions. There's eight to, or nine to 10 cards in this file that I send you as a gift when you place an order with me in December, or I'm sorry, in January. Plus, by the end of January, I am giving an ephemera kit out to all orders over $75. So I just want to make sure I tell you that before I go too far and forget. Okay, I'm bringing in the cloud punch. I, I'm really liking that punch. I, I didn't use it much to start with, but I am now, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. I've got my Bermuda Bay um, ink pad. And what else? We're going to be using the Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels. Okay. Where's my cardstock? Did anybody see it? Oh, here it is. <laughs> like, oh, I got all this ready and now I can't find it. Okay. So here we go. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you about this card. You can decorate it any way you want. And I thought about just showing you the how to make the accordion part because then you can go from there, right? But then I said, no, that's kind of cheating. <laughs> I don't know 
know why I thought it was cheating, but I'm like, no, they wanna see the whole thing. So I'm gonna make this whole card for you. But what I wanna tell you is don't get too worried about um, all of the decorating part because that's the part you can putz around with forever and you can do it as elaborate or not elaborate as you want, right? But the mechanism is nothing more than some score lines and folding back and forth like an accordion. Like, I don't think you're gonna realize how simple this is. So let me bring in my paper cutter. Here we go. And what you're gonna do, here's, so I measured all this and I made a card and I'll share another one with you using different patterns and different colors because I, I had to make up one so I knew, so I wouldn't look like a fool, right? <laughs> like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so I am using um, basic white cardstock. This is going to be my accordion section and then my front and my back for my card. And I've got myself a little note here so I don't forget to do things. But this piece is five and a half by 11. This piece is three and three quarters by five and a half, okay? So you're gonna take your accordion part and you're gonna score it every three quarters of an inch. So I did not sit down and figure out, you know, like this one's three quarters, the next one's gonna be one and a half. I just went every three quarters. So that's the first three quarters. And then we're gonna go to one and a half. So this might be the part you wanna write down. You're gonna start off scoring at three quarters and then one and a half and then two and a quarter and then three. So it's every three quarters on this piece that is five and a half by three and three quarters. Boom, 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 okay? Now we're gonna take this piece that's five and a half by 11 and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna score every three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna start off over here at three quarters because I just have better luck doing it that way. And then I turn it around and start running it through. So that was three quarters. Now we're gonna go to, you're gonna maybe wanna write this down, one and a half, two and a quarter, oops, let me get that in there straight, two and a quarter, three inches, three and three quarters, four and a half, five and a quarter, six, six and three quarters, seven and a half. I guess impressed with my math skills. <laughs> Eight and a quarter. <laughs> Nine. Nine and a quarter, or I'm sorry, nine and three quarters, sorry. And do we need one more? Yep, one more, keep going. And then we're gonna go 10 and a half. Okay, now the one that you do at 10 and a half is gonna be a little bit smaller. There's only half an inch left here and that's what I, I planned that. Well, it actually worked out that way and then I thought it was okay. <laughs> Let's be real. Okay, what we're gonna do here is, hang on, let me look at this. I wanna make sure that I'm telling you guys to do this right because you'll be able to go back and look at this video Okay, we are going to fold this one towards you and then you're just going to go back and forth. We'll figure it out in the end. Don't worry about getting started. Just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And if you want to, you can burnish your edges good. I didn't, but maybe I should have. that. Oh, and we have a little fan. <laughs> this is what you're going to end up with, okay? Now you're going to take this other piece and you're going to do the same thing. Back and forth. Are you guys with me so far? Nobody's getting glossy eyes going, oh my lord, what is she doing? <laughs> I hope not. Okay, so this little tab right here is going to be the front. Not that I think it probably matters, but this is what we're gonna do. 
Um, we're gonna actually put these together just like this. It's it's just that simple, okay? Oh, maybe we're gonna do it this way. Nope, I don't like that. So what we need is B-I-R-T-H-D-A-Y. Okay, just so that you have enough of these. This is actually the half, the half inch one. And yeah, let me look, let's take a little look. Yeah, okay, so this is the half inch one right here. This one you're gonna put over just like that. Okay, so we need to put some adhesive on here. And I'm going to use one strip of tear and tape because this is super duper strong. And then I'm just gonna glue because I know this won't fall apart if I put tear and tape on it. And all I've done here, you guys, is extended my accordion so that it'll be long enough to fit my happy birthday. That's all that I've done here with this little piece. It's just to make it longer. So if you're gonna have a longer word, you're gonna need to make more of these accordions, right? Yours is gonna be need to be bigger. I'm gonna add some glue to this outside piece here just to keep it you know, nice and lined up. And now I'm going to just drop this on here. Make sure you get it down into the crack. <laughs> just like that, so that everything's nice and straight. Just like that, okay? So that's what we've done. We've just extended our accordion. Hang on, I got some, I got some glue on my fingers. And I'm gonna get out a baby wipe here and clean off my fingers before they make me crazy. Oh no, Cher has COVID. Her whole household has it. I'm so sorry. I hope that you guys are better soon and that it's just mild. Some people have really been having mild um, COVID and other people not so much. Okay, so when you get done, you're going to have a, um, a valley. Uh, okay, so you see valley. This is a mountain. This is a valley. So we've got a valley, then we have a mountain. You're going to want to have two valleys on the end. Valley, valley, okay? Now we're going to do a little decorating before we do anything else. And I got a note to make sure I put the ribbon on here. All of these dimensions, with the exception of that, where I just tell you every three quarters of an inch, okay? Um, all of these dimensions will be on my blog. So I've got four pieces of Granny Apple Green, and these are four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And we are going to take our ribbon. Now this is the every, hang on, uh, flowers for every season. Oh, I don't know if I have enough. Hang on, let me measure. You need about 21 inches of ribbon to make this particular size. So there's 12. And, oh yeah, I'll have enough. That's 24. Did you see how fast I did that math? <laughs> so impressive. I'm really on my game tonight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyways, this comes in a in a three pack. There's three different kinds of ribbon with that ribbon. So what I want to do is I want to get my ribbon in here. I'm going to glue this on and then we're going to do ribbon on top so I don't forget. So we're going to add, and I just pulled this, this granny apple green color is from, oh, that was a bit much, is from, um, the color palette of the Sunshine and Rainbows designer paper, which, by the way, oh, did I just screw up? Yep, I think I did. Hang on, don't do this yet. Meh. Okay. Whew. Um, we need to add this right here. So, I am going to put a little bit of tear and tape here. Sorry, you guys. Put a little bit of tear and tape. I'm going to run a strip right here near the fold line, just like that, okay? You can do the same thing on the other end. 
near the score line. And then we'll do the same thing with the glue. I just want this on here because I know it's super strong. So I bought Val some really cute little glittery shoes. And yeah, she would not leave the house today without them. I thought, oh, that's my girl. <laughs> right? Oh, how cute is that? Okay, do this first. A little bit of glue. And now I'm going to put this on here. Just like that. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other end. Add a little bit of glue. And I'm going to just line this up. Meh. Make sure you get it lined it up. Lined it up. Get it lined it up, everybody. Okay. So now we have this. Now we're going to put this piece on. And then we'll do our ribbon. And the ribbon is just kind of holds it closed. So here we go. Do that. And this. And now this is all the decorating part. And of course you can get as elaborate with this or not elaborate as you want. You can make this very masculine. This would be a really, men love cards that do things. They would be very impressed with your paper crafting skills if you made a card like this for a man. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to put my ribbon on and let's fold this all up because this is how you do a dry fit to see. You want to make sure that your ribbon is centered and you want to make sure that it's anchored good. So this is what your card is going to look like when it's closed. Now, I know everybody's going to ask me, what about an envelope? I will share with you the envelope that I'm going to put my card in. It does not fit in a regular envelope. I tried. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold it closed. I'm just going to keep my ribbon even out here. Oops, that was a little overkill. And I'm just going to take some tape and I'm going to tape this down. Okay, that is going to be probably the most secure way to secure your ribbon. And I'm only going to do it... Oh, oh. Hang on, let me think about that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't tape it down on the back, okay? Just the front, okay? Just like that. Now I've got designer series paper. So I think I'm gonna go, oh, let me think about this for a second. Mm -hmm. On the front, I'm gonna do these, these rainbows. That's what I decided. So now this is gonna go right over top here. This piece, by the way, is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Oh, that's not right. Is that right? Oh, yeah, it is right. Three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. The green piece was four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And again, all these dimensions will be found on my blog. I want to make sure that my rainbows, these little rainbows, are right side up, too. So you need to pay attention to if you have any pattern in your paper. Okay. Here we go. Isn't this fun? All right. Next up, we are going to decorate the inside. So, again, all this decoration, you can do it or... Oops, hang on, I got glue on there. Do it or not do it, it's completely up to you. But you guys know that I kind of like to, I like to decorate. <laughs> like I'm a decorator. I'm not that great at decorating my house, but that's why I have children. <laughs> they help me. And oh boy, if they don't like something, they will tell you. And they're not shy about it either. Sometimes they're a little mean. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, maybe I'm not. Okay, then we're gonna do this. And I just thought this would look beautiful in here with the pretty rainbows. Just like this. Now this piece 
is, I don't even know. Hang on. Three and seven eighths. Oh yeah, by five and an eighth. This is gonna be the same size as this paper, okay? Same thing. Now, I decided to pull, oh, I decided to, hang on, let me get this out of here. So here, this is what we have so far, right? Super easy. Now, if you wanted to make this card and you didn't want to say happy birthday on the inside, you would only need a few slots to say hello. That would be cool, right? So you would make less of these to accommodate whatever it is you would like your card to say. All right, we're done with that little note. So now you're going to need, for happy birthday, you're going to need 13 designer series paper pieces that are one and a half by two. So that's what I've got here. Then I took, I decided I wanted to make my happy birthday letters Mango Melody because that is one of the colors that's in both sides of my designer paper here. So I grabbed my letters, my playful alphabet letters. These are really nice because they've got like more than one A. I think there's um, more, there's more than one of some of these letters that you would use a lot when you're making words, right? And so I took all of my little letters and you can put them all in a scrap. Don't lose your eye. Don't lose your eye. There's a, there's a dot on your eye. And you're just going to put these all down. And then there's four of them that you need to do again, right? Like the A, the Y, the H, and something else. I don't remember. Happy. Oh, P. You need two Ps. Okay, so you're going to run this through. And when you do that, here comes your little letters. Yay! Now, I have my little dot for my eye. I made sure that I didn't lose it. But if you do lose the dot for your eye, you can always use a rhinestone, so don't panic. Now, when you put these on here, birthday is the bigger word, okay? So, birthday, we're gonna do B, I, R, can you guys see this? T, H, D, A, and Y. Okay, just like that. When you put your happy in, you're going to do those opposite. You're going to go, uh, let's see, uh, we'll start here maybe. H, A, P, P, Y. And I think I'm going to move this over maybe one more like that. Or maybe leave it like that. I don't know. Um... Let me see. Hang on. Yeah, I think I'll move this over here. Okay, so now what you have to do is you have to get these letters onto all these little squares. Okay, and I don't know if you really guys want me to do all of these. I don't want anybody to like get bored or have your eyes gloss over because you're like, oh my good lord, I can't believe she's doing all of this for us. But if you get sick of it, just say, we just want to see the end <laughs> and I'll show it to you. So here comes our H and this H can go up like this or like that. It's whatever you want. And I want it like this. So there goes our H and now I'm just going to put some glue. I got the H over here. I got the glue over there and I'm going to put this right in the trough or the channel. See that? I just put it right in there. Here comes our A. And we're gonna do this. And we're gonna put that right over here. And then I'm gonna put some glue right here. And we're gonna just drop that in right there. And I'm just trying to get it lined up. It's not perfect. This is a homemade card. And if you wanna sit and make it perfect, you certainly can. But what I found is that really wasn't that important. Oops. And 
I just want to get my letters straight. I think that's more important. A little bit of glue here. Here comes a P. There we go. Isn't this cool? What do you guys think? Ah! Yes. Shannon says she likes this. She's going to make a few. Yeah, you know, you could do just H-I. You could do a hello. You could put somebody's name in here. It doesn't have to be this extravagant happy birthday. You could put happy H-B. Oh, hang on. That one's crooked. And, whoops. Come back here. Put our glue right here. I just think it's so sweet. And Marilyn sent me that Christmas card. I, was, I just gasped when I opened it. I'm like, oh my good Lord, we must make this, right? And I just love it when I get cards like that. And I'm like, oh, I have some good cards up my sleeve too, you guys. So when I get to Florida, I'll probably be pulling out that arsenal for some more fun folds. Okay, so... The happy goes that way, and the birthday goes this way. So the B is going to be over here for the birthday. So let's put some, make sure I'm staying in, in my camera here so you guys can see what's going on. And we're going to do our B. There we go. And our B is going to go right over here. And then we're going to put our glue on the opposite side of the back, like the opposite, you know. And then this goes right in here. So I left about a half an inch from the top, from the top right here until I started my little panels and about a half an inch from the bottom to right there. Okay, so there's my B. Here comes that I. There we go. And we're gonna do an I. It's very funny that the I is the only letter that is lowercase. Isn't that weird? I like the look of it, like it's different, but I just thought, huh. And I've got my take your pick tool again, my favorite little tool here to put that eye, that dot on my eye, just like that. And then put our glue right there. For those of you that are in my technique club, those cards are done and will be going out in the mail tomorrow for your January Technique Club orders. So I can't hardly wait because I've got a really cool technique that I shared. And it's actually part of my global tutorial, or I would show it to you, but that is a exclusive tutorial that's available. I share that, B-I-R-T-H. I share that with my, um, if you place a, like a $75 or more order with me, you get a special tutorial and that is, you know, just an extra little thank you gift. Remember, if you place any size order with me, you're going to get the Rainbow and Sunshines tutorial as my special gift. So I have lots of things like that that I give as gifts for placing orders because I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate your orders. And then, of course, I have all my little giveaways for you guys who watch my Facebook Live and help me out that way. I super, I really appreciate that, too. Oh, my spelling seems to be pretty good, huh? So far. Isn't this just cool? I mean, it's, it's, a, little, it's a little putsy. But, again, you don't have to do a big word like birthday. I was thinking about personalizing it and putting Molly's name on here because when we get back from Florida, it's going to be Molly's birthday and Dawson's going to be born. And so I'm going to need a baby card. I'm going to need a birthday card. I'm going to need all kinds of cards. So I thought maybe I would make Molly 
put Molly's name in one of these because M-O-L-L-I, that's nice. You know, you could put her name up here or something. Like that would be cool. Okay. And then we got one more. Oh, here it is. Here's our last. Oh, my A doesn't want to lay down there. There it is. What do you guys think? Isn't this cool? Yeah. And let's be real. As a stamper, most of us, you know, we're we're okay with putsy. I don't I don't do putsy all the time, but I'm okay with doing something putsy, especially if it's like this fabulous. <laughs> right? Make sure that that's not going to interfere. You want to make sure that you're not going to interfere with your, um, you know, um, your accordion part. Isn't that cool? Okay, so this, you got to kind of, first time is a charm. Keep it all together here. There we go. There we go. There we go. <gasps> Look at that. Right? Ready? Very cool. I love this. Okay, so I've got a little something something to go on the inside here. So just hang tight. Um, we're going to be using the Rainbow of Happiness and also the Brilliant Rainbow Dyes. This is, this is a bundle. And I've got a piece of white here for the front. We're going to do the front. Oh, and the inside. So hang on. Let's do the inside. Of course, I pulled out my happiest of birthdays. I love this stamp set. Who all has this stamp set? Um, Deb asks, do any of your smart stampers have any ideas how to prevent the delays with Facebook Live? I'm not really sure what you mean about that. Like, what kind of delay are you having? Are you talking about freezing up? As opposed to, because you wouldn't know that you had a delay, I don't think. Um, hang on, I've lost my ink pad. Where did it, oh, here it is. Um, if you're freezing up, it's your internet service. Your internet service isn't streaming your internet well enough to keep the video going without having the freeze up going on. So that's kind of what's happening there, if that's the case. Okay, now this I'm going to put right here. And the only thing you can do is watch the replay on YouTube because that will usually take care of, you know, there, it's not streaming live. It's a recorded video. Okay, look how fun that is, right? Now, I wanted to do a little something for the front. So here's what I came up with. I think I'm going to do it this way. I've got a piece of white here. And I am going to, I want to see my rainbows here. I'm going to take, um, that's Mitt Macron. That's not what I want. I want... Soft sea foam. This is the rainbow stamp set now. I'm gonna go just like this. And then I want granny apple green. We'll grab that. And I'll come in with the next little rainbow. Oh, I gotta get i got to stand up here, so I'm trying to get this lined up. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to go with Mango Melody. Where is my Mango Melody? Right here. Yay. Oh, that's really jacked up. Let's try that again. <laughs> I don't like it. So hang on, here we go. Here's our um, soft sea foam. And then what color did I use next? Granny apple green, right? Yep. Okay. 
I gotta pull this so I can get my head over it, you guys, so I can see what's going on. Oh, so much better, right? And then we'll do Mango Melody. Hang on. Oh, so much better. And next I'm going to take the words. And I'm making this card for Molly. So I thought that these were the most appropriate words that I could put on her card. And it says, sending you a rainbow of happiness. Yay! Okay, let me get these closed up. We have some embellishing to do. And don't forget to hit that share button as long as we have a little bit of idle time here while I'm trying to figure this out. Because I, I haven't made this yet. I didn't know what I wanted to do with the front of this one. I've got another whole one to show you, though, so don't go anyplace. All right, and I think, oh, isn't that cute? Okay, so I think that I will put this on. I'm just going to glue this right on the front. Just like this. And then... Did you guys know that our cloud punch matches the paper that's in the sunshine and rainbows? So you can punch out these clouds. What do you think? I think that's super cute. Okay, where'd my dimensionals go? I do not know what I did with them, but I can certainly find some. <laughs> We're going to put this, and oh, that's not coming off of there. Does anybody see my scissors? Here they are. Gosh, i got to go eat something before I start gnawing an arm off. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Steve asked me if I could cut his hair while I was frantically trying to get this project done. He's like, can you cut my hair right now, or do you want to wait until tomorrow? I'm like, tomorrow! He's like, okay. I'm just going to put this right down here. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of that? Yay. And then I'm going to bring in some of my iridescent jewels. You guys are going to see a lot of these because I'm kind of obsessed with them. I'm not going to lie. Oh, and then I have to show you. <gasps> Super duper cute, right? Ah. Okay, so let's get all the stuff out of the way here. Like I can just clear a room. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little loud. You guys are holding your ears like, gosh, she's so loud. That's what Steve says too. He'll be like, can you quiet down? I'm like, oh my gosh. Me and Kathy Miller, we sit up here and we're both loud people. <laughs> we get along really good. Okay, so here we go. Just make sure you leave yourself long enough tails on your ribbon so that you can tie it nicely. But this is going to be so, like, when I present this, this is going to be pretty, pretty darn cool. Let me get this so it's not all weird. <gasps> Love it. Okay, now, I told you I would show you. What do you think about this? <laughs> Probably not for a boy, but for Molly, it would certainly be wonderful. These I get off Amazon, and this particular envelope, um, let's see, oops, there goes ink pads. This, the inside mailing area is five by eight, and this card will certainly fit in here, and yes, this is going to cost extra to mail, okay, but you're not going to just make this for anybody. This is for a special person, right? And this fits in here quite nicely. So it doesn't weigh much. There's not that big of a deal. So look at how cute that is. Okay, you guys want to see the other one? I just use different colors. So let me open this up. Maybe. Ah, there we go. Ah! Oh my goodness. I love it. Okay, so we got that one. Here comes the other one. Let me get it smooshed together. Here comes this one. I just used different paper and different cardstock colors. This one, I put 
two clouds on the front with the You Make Me Happy. That's on um, Magenta Madness embossed with white embossing powder. The inside. Ah! Yeah, same, same card, just different, different patterns, right? So what do you guys think? Who's going to make one of these? That's what I want to know. Who is going to make one? Whoever gets it, Marilyn says whoever gets it would be have to be very special. I know. So, Marilyn, like, I felt like the queen of the world here when Marilyn sent this to me because I am assuming she didn't make these for everybody, right? For Christmas? Like, maybe she did, but I don't know. That's a lot. So, I felt very special. And that's why I knew I had to share this with you guys because this is just Merry Christmas. That's a lot. That's a lot of <laughs> that's a lot of little squares, right? Yeah. So that's why I wanted to make this in a regular size. You can see how much bigger this card is than a regular card. And of course, you could you can make this any size that you want. I mean, any size is going to work out just fine. But I can't hardly wait. Now I've got one for Molly, one for Val. Gosh, I am ahead of the game, right? Okay, I wanted to share, if you remember, this is one of the rainbow cards that I made for a blog hop recently. You can find all the details for this on my blog, but how stinking cute is that, right? This is our little sweet treat boxes. And again, this is the um, the dies with the, with the sunshine rainbow of happiness. This is actually the printed paper. I just cut that particular pattern out. Isn't that fun? And I used our Playful Pets um, black and white Baker's twine. It also comes with red stitched ribbon. So there's a couple more ideas for you. This is a swap that I got. Look at that. Oh, this is the this is the paper right here. She just cut a strip of it. And isn't that a cool idea to put on the inside? This is a book, a book binding um, layout card. Isn't that cute? And this, she just punched out a white um, cloud and stamped Hello Sunshine on it. And here, let me get this open. I got one more here. Like I said, I've got more rainbow cards. I just am not able to put my hands on them right away. And this is super cute. So this is the um, Someone Special stamp set. This is the stamp set has like got 21 word sentiments in it for um, free with a hundred dollar order so holy cow right look at how, how sweet that is just these little strips these little scraps really make a difference so there's another really cool card okay i've got some mail like i said i wanted to let you guys know that i will not be live next sunday i was going to try to do a facebook live not live for you guys because I have you know like the really cool card you want me to show you how to do remember this one remember this with the sliding mechanism yeah okay so I know that you guys want me to show you how to make this I'm taking this with me so I will show you this from Florida okay I want you guys to try this even if you just do a hello card or you could put some one of your kids or grandkids names in here if it's not like Stephanie <laughs> Right? That's a long one. But just try one of these. They're super easy. Scored every three quarters of an inch. And you can actually just take a strip of paper and score and do it and then cut it off. You don't even have to try and figure it out. You can just cut it to the size that you need it. Okay, mail. Look at this gorgeous card. Ah, this is from Heather. And I love that bedazzling paper. So pretty, right? And, um... Yeah, it's a thank you card for videos, tips, techniques, and sharing myself. So Heather, thank you so much. This is just beautiful. I love your card. Next, Connie, who is on my team, sent me this beautiful card. And again, with the strips, you guys, how fun is that? So easy. And this is that beautiful friendly hello bundle that's free with a $100 order. You get the stamp set and the paper. Yes, she made me a bunch of cards and she wants me to have a great time in Florida. 
Connie, thank you so much. Your cards were fabulous. And she is another one of my helpers. So this is from my mom. Oh, I got to read this to you. It says, thank you so much for the lovely Christmas that that didn't make the day because my sister had COVID, so we didn't get to go there for Christmas, but we went the following whenever. Next year, this COVID will be done. Fingers crossed. Then we can have a real one. Thanks for everything you do to make the magic happen. Isn't she sweet? Love you to the moon and back, mom. And then this is from my niece. Thank you for the Legos. I had lots of fun building the Legos. Love, Jasmine. That's my niece. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to flip this around again so I can talk to you instead of... There we go. I didn't used to be able to do this because Facebook would cut me off. They'd like freeze it and then they kick me out. But it seems to be working again. So I just wanted to tell you guys, I will get this blog post up tonight. Um, you saw my host code. If anybody needs to place an order and your order is under $150, please use that host code. If your order's over $150, please don't use the host code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up. I definitely want you to have those. And you will get celebration rewards. Don't worry about that. These are different kinds of rewards for um, larger orders, right? But don't forget, now is the best. I'm looking for my celebration brochure. Can I just tell you that I have a holy crazy mess going on over here? I know, it looks all nice right here, right? <laughs> Celebration, this is the best time to join my team. If you have ever even given a single little inkling or not, you get two free stamp sets of your choice out of any of our catalogs. If you can buy them, you can add them for free. And what that means is we have some exclusive host sets. Those aren't included in this two free anything you want, um, any stamp set you want. And celebration. If you can't buy those, you can't add them to your kit. Hi, Arliss. Thank you. Um, so you get to add two free stamp sets to your kit that's already marked down to $99. You get to choose $125 of anything you want, plus two more stamp sets before the end of February. And then you get a minimum 20% discount on all your future orders. Join my team. Oh my gosh. You have nothing to lose, nothing to lose. You're going to come, you're going to have fun. You're going to get to be part of something bigger. And being on my team is a lot of fun. I take a lot of pride in having a very happy stamping team. And um, I've never had anybody who was disgruntled or said, oh, I wish I wouldn't have joined Kelly's team. Everybody loves it. So I hope you'll give it a try. I would love to have you on my team. Now, remember... When I'm in Florida, we're going to leave on Tuesday. So I have all day tomorrow to pack, pack up my stamping stuff, to ship some stuff down there, um, and to get my clothes together. Don't forget my swimsuit. It's on my list. <laughs> um, I'm hoping to lose a few pounds, too, because I've kind of like Christmas, you know, packed it back on. Whatever. Right? I've been happy. Um but I am hoping to not be working at all tomorrow except to get some kits out of here. So um, if you need me, I will be, we'll be, you know, I'll be in the car for several days. We're going to stop at um, Nashville for a couple days, maybe like two days. And we're just kind of meandering down to Florida. We're not like, let's get there. So we're just going to, we're just going to enjoy our road trip. And um, then while I'm in Florida, I will be working. Like, this is a working trip for me. Steve will be golfing, but I will be working. So don't hesitate to reach out, and I will be live again. Let me look at my little calendar here. I will be live again on February 6th, because next weekend will be the 30th, and I won't be live. But February 6th, I'll be live again. So if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. You know that I'm always here. Please make sure that if you're watching later on YouTube, there is a button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen where you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I just hit 25,000 subscribers recently. I am going to Sarasota. Somebody just asked where I'm going. I'm going to Sarasota. 
So thank you everybody who is wishing me a safe trip and I'm really sorry if I missed any of your questions. It's really hard to stamp and think and measure and then read the questions, but I try really hard. <laughs> if I have if I have not answered questions, please feel free to contact me, whether it's on Facebook or pop me an email. Um, you can find all of my online classes at www.astampabove.com. You'll also find a join button on there where you can order your kit. Join my team. You have nothing to lose. If it doesn't work out, hey, it doesn't work out. You can continue to order from me as a customer. But getting your stuff at a discount is the best way to do it. And you'll I, you'll love being part of my team. I just know you will. Okay. I must go eat. <laughs> I'm starving. So I'm going to go have some dinner. And then I will be back up here to photograph and get um, this video loaded up on my blog so my YouTubers can see it. See, I get to spread the joy all over the place. We got Facebook, we got the blog, we got YouTube, we got everything. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much for all the safe travels. I can't tell you enough how much that means. And um, for those of you that have contacted me that are in the Sarasota area, I have you in a email group so that I can Go back to your phone numbers and stuff too. I'm really looking forward to meeting some of you in real life. That'll be fun, right? Yay! Okay, you guys, have yourselves a great couple weeks. Maybe what I'll do when I'm in the car is I'll put up a card challenge. And then um, I'll have like a deadline and we can pick some winners from that. What do you think? Would you like a card challenge? I would love to see you guys make one of these. Would that be too hard of a card challenge? What do you think? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe that's what I want to see. I want to see what you guys do with this idea. And all the different words. Would that be fun? Would you guys do that? Who's up for it? Yay. <laughs> I know. I'm like kind of asking a lot, aren't I? Yeah. Maria says she loves card challenges. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go. Have yourselves a great couple weeks. Thank you so much for being part of my inky life. Somebody just asked, will we be having a team meeting? Yes, we have a team meeting on February 8th. Yay! We are going to have a team meeting because I can do those from any place, right? Yeah, we have a team meeting every month too. That's a lot of fun. So I'll see you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.